morning. Today's devotion is from Matthew chapter 17. The chapter starts with the transfiguration of Jesus. What a big word. Transfiguration simply means a change of appearance. One day, Jesus and some of his disciples went up high on the mountain. And while they were there, Jesus' appearance changes so a glimpse of his full heavenly glory is shown. The Bible says his face shone like the sun and his clothes became as white as light. What a beautiful moment that must have been. Jesus then tells his disciples not to tell anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. We see in the passage that those closest to Jesus were shown a glimpse of who Jesus was and his purpose. So, as we build a closer relationship with Jesus, he will reveal himself more to us and we will also have a better understanding of who he is and what is to come in the future. How do we build a closer relationship with Jesus? One, by prayer. When we pray, we shouldn't just talk at Jesus. Prayer is a two-way conversation. We need to be still and allow Jesus to talk back to us. Two, reading our Bibles regularly. Three, involving him in every thought and everything we do. Think about Jesus on your way to work or working from home, on your way to the shops or on your daily walk. Everywhere you find yourself, think about Jesus and involve him in every part of your life. The big, the small, the bad, the good, include Jesus. Matthew chapter 17 also tells us about a time when a man approached Jesus and his disciples in a crowd. The man asked Jesus to have mercy on his son who has seizures and suffers greatly. He would throw himself into fire or into water. The man explained to Jesus that he had already taken his son to the disciples but they could not heal him. Jesus then heals the boy by driving away the demon that was operating in the boy. The disciples then asked Jesus, why couldn't we drive it out? And Jesus replied, because you have so little faith. If you have faith as small as a master siege, you can say to this mountain, move here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Now, a master seed is a very tiny seed, usually about one to two millimeters. So from verses 19 to 21, we can infer that the disciples barely had any faith. Whatever mountain comes your way, whatever adversary you face or others ask you to help with, all you need is faith, a complete trust in Jesus. So what is faith? Hebrews 11 one says, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. So I pray that you draw even more closer to Jesus and experience more of him. Have a blessed day.